Behind the beauty of the auroras lies a threat. The solar storms that triggers the beautiful northern lights can damage satellites, cause internet blackouts, cut radio signals and disorient aircraft. Robin Fiori is a space meteorologist. It might be the first time you've heard of that unusual job title. But what she studies can have a big impact on Earth. The worst case scenario that we could see from a space weather event would be um, power system blackouts. The Canadian Space Weather Forecast Centre monitors the sun 24-7 to warn in case of a danger. So in order to make a space weather forecast, what are the energetic proton levels? Uh, are there solar X-ray flares to try and determine what kind of activity would be reaching the Earth? Solar flares and coronal mass ejections can send tons of plasma into space, forming solar storms that can hit the Earth within one to three days. We had a very large flare last Friday. That's almost certainly the cause of the geomagnetic storm. March 13, 1989. A solar storm hits Quebec. Millions lost power for nine hours. In Saskatchewan, these antennas are part of an international network monitoring charged particles. When those particles collide, they create auroras, beautiful but dangerous. We basically have the most aurora in the world, so we're so lucky. But it means we also have the most risks associated with the aurora as well. Catherine McWilliams is the head of this network. She helped build these towers in the 1990s. This is my handprints from when we very first built these towers a long time ago. <laughs> these antennas work like a police speed uh, radar. And so we send out a signal uh, into the atmosphere to about 250 kilometers altitude. And we measure the motion of charged particles. So this is the stuff we're measuring right now. The aim of the project, to better predict the effect of the sun's activity. That's kind of the ultimate question, is when is the aurora going to happen? We don't have the answer yet. <laughs> We're still working on it. But what we know is that the sun follows a cycle. About every 11 years, its activity peaks. And this is happening now. We'd be expecting to see more solar flares and more coronal mass ejections. And so we'd expect to see more impacts at and near the Earth. In the coming months, these scientists will have to keep a close eye on the sun's moods as they try to predict its behavior. Camille Verne, CBC News, Vancouver.